the Family Car Guy. Today we are going to the Automotorplex in Minnesota, Chanhassen, to hit up a car show, Cars and Caves. The Automotorplex is basically a townhome community of garages where people store their car collections of all their exotic and classic and whatever kind of car collections that they have. And these garages are pretty pricey they can range from anywhere from 50 grand all the way up to three four five six hundred grand and they're super super elaborate so without further ado let's roll
All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that little video I put together there uh, for the Cars and Caves. Obviously, you can tell us the next day. Uh, had to go to church, had to do my thing, had to do the family thing. Uh, but I wanted to wrap up this video by talking about something that I observed. So me and my buddy, John, we're, we're going through the car show and we're seeing all the different garages and, and all everyone's collections of various cars, Porsches, we got exotic cars, we got classic cars. You know, there's the Chevy garage in there where the guy's got old school, um, you know, he's got the, the, the old school Corvette and then he's got the newer Corvette and, and everything in between. We had, there's a Jaguar garage, which I don't even think I got footage of the Jaguar garage, unfortunately, but this guy had a Jaguar E-Type, just a beautiful car. And then he had a Jaguar F-Type R, the new one. And it was just interesting listening to the older folks talk about their car collections and one of the things that they said what I thought was really interesting is they said you know the young people the millennial generation like they don't they don't really care about cars all they care about is how fast the car is you know what are the specs you know which one is faster than this one they don't care about the story behind the car you know they don't care about the pride and ownership I got to listen to a guy talk about um, how he met Carol Shelby and one of the cars that he bought was because he personally knew Carol Shelby and uh, I forgot the name of the car, but it, I think it's in the video. Um, but definitely next time I go out there, if I didn't shoot it this time, I'll shoot it next time. But basically this guy is talking about why he bought the cars that he did and when, and what they stood for in that era. And, and I think that to me is, is kind of true. I do kind of, I feel like not every millennial for that matter, but a lot of us younger ones, I do feel like we don't necessarily care about cars. They were making, they were making a, uh, uh, in the same way they do, I should say. Not that we don't care about cars, but we care about them in a different way. Like for example, they were talking about how all these ride sharing apps, you have Zip, Zipcar and Turo and um, you know, all these other things, Uber and Lyft that you know, basically cars are now a commodity, right? They're not, you know, are we really gonna see, is there even gonna be uh, uh, something like cars and caves going on in the future where people are collecting cars because they care about the story they care about what they represented they care about the era like that to me i do kind of feel like he had a valid point you know most of the people that i know they want a particular car that are younger but want a particular car because it's fast because they saw it in a music video you know things like that and to me that's it's, it, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and judge and say that's an awful reason to have a car or to get a car, or to have that car be your halo car, the car of your dreams. If you want a lottery, that's what you go get. But I do feel like, you know, the story of a car really, really matters. Uh, and I think that's that's half the fun, is talking to people about stories. Why did they buy the car that they bought? You know, people make jokes, especially about Corvette owners, all the Corvette clubs right here. You know, they have pride and ownership. This is the only car, I know what I have, right? I'm gonna sell it for top dollar because this is the only car in this color in the whole country and I only bought it from this guy. And, you know, I ran into a few people at the car show that had that story yesterday, and it's like, you know, your your car is actually rather common, but I respect where you're coming from. But I think the pride and ownership and, and the story and, and how they got the car and when they got the car and what it means to them, you know, I think that, that there's something to be said for that. And I think about, like, even this car, I mean, I actually got this car um, after I got my Z06, and, and both my Corvettes, um, I got them after I had, I got married and had kids. So I'm kind of like, I kind of did things a little backwards. You know, I, I had, I was, a, I, growing up, I was like really into like, I had a bunch of Nissan Maximas I had, and then I jumped into Infinity and, and basically they were the same thing because I had an I-35, so that was the same motor, the VQ motor. But ultimately then I got a G35 and I loved that car. I loved that car so much, but got in a car accident in the winter time and basically um, you know, it was fully covered. I got the cash and it just kind of like Made sense one day when I was looking around I started looking at what what can I drive now? And I, I actually bought another infinity an m35 and then I sold that to a friend and then I ended up buying the, the c4 but um, I had that after I had my z06 and that was the car that you know The car of that era the z06 was kind of the halo car of its of its arrow I was in college when that when that car came out uh, and it was like wow you know, like this car is ridiculous, you know, zero to 60 and 3.7, you know, top speed of 198, you know, that's crazy for the money, you know, it's running with supercars for the money. And that car to me is still like one of my favorite cars of all time. Like if you were to say, David, you're going to, you have 
a billion dollars. You have a bazillion dollars, you can buy whatever you want. A C6 Z06 would still be in my garage because to me, what it represents is a car of my era that I really, really like what it stood for, with the pinnacle of performance in that era. You know, it still matters to me. I mean, if you think about it, it's 3,100 pounds. It's 500 pounds lighter, almost 600 pounds lighter than a, Z, than a new ZR1. It's over 500 pounds lighter than a current Z06. You know, like those types of things matter to me, you know? And so, shoot, I would definitely go get a C7 Z06 if I had the money, but at the end of the day, in my garage, in my dream garage, a C6 Z06 will always have a place. Even the C4 would have a place because of what it represents. The leap from the C3 to the C4 was just gigantic. I mean, there was so much technology that debuted on the C4 that has carried over and been improved upon and iterated upon all the way up through and, and continuing with the C7. So, I mean, again, to each his or her own, you know, we are all car enthusiasts for, for one reason or another. Um, but I do think that's interesting, and, and I would love to hear your guys' comments and what your guys' thoughts are. Like, is our generation, are we kind of like, dude, look, look, we just need statistics. We need to know how fast is it, how much power does it have, is it faster than this car, is it more powerful than this car, or do we actually care about the story? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts, but I would encourage everyone, like, really care about your story, really care about your thoughts. Like, I think, you know, last thing I'll say is Jimbo's channel, one of the things he talked about is he had, like, this decent on Ultima that was really, really dear to, like, his uncle. And he's like, even though I had, you know, at the time he had this uh, a red C4 and then he went out and got the, the C5. And I don't even know if he has the C5 anymore. I might have sold that too. But he was talking about how much that ultimate meant to him. And I could relate to that because when I think about cars, that's what I think of. Like, what, you know, what is that? was I in high school? Was I in college? All the different stories I got into trouble with those different cars. Like, the stories mean something, you know. The particular issues, you know, this particular C4 has all kinds of issues that, you know, you know, most of them are minor, I mean, but at the end of the day, I could go out and get a, a, you know, pay 10 grand and go get a C4 that's in pristine condition, but that wouldn't be as fun. And I appreciate the story and the, the project of taking this car to, from what it is now to what it will be, um, I think is, that's what makes it fun. And that's why for me, you know, that's why I do this, you know, is because it's, it's, it's the love of the, the, the whole story and the whole how it fits into your life like a family pet right you know like you remember when the pet used to pee on the on the on on the carpet and all your furniture and everything and now you know you take them on fishing trips and everything and you you raise your kids and that pet stays in the family it's kind of like that you know for me um so i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts uh i got some things coming in the mail this week so we should be back doing some C4 upgrades and then we got a couple other things we're gonna hit. I know we got cars and coffee, the last one I'll be able to make for the season next week. So we'll be taking videos of that and we'll be coming at you with more content. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, please comment. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this video. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. We are moving forward. I'm so excited to be a part of the community. Big shout out to Seagunner Speed 252, 13 Scorpio. I see you guys are back. Uh, my Corvette life all the people that I that I get to see regularly doing their things that are that's not necessarily huge yet But you guys are all doing your thing much respect um, And let's continue to grow this community together um, Until next time you guys have a blessed day. Peace out